A lot of people don't appreciate life in this beautiful country. A lot of people, ladies and gentlemen, don't love like they used to in this beautiful country. A lot of people, ladies and gentlemen, don't pour their heart out anymore. Ah. Reverence. Reverence. Mother Nature cry blood Mother Nature cry blood We need you Marcus Tiavi Malcolm X Nani of the Maroon Some shot Nelson Monday Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to In The Streets with Big Stone. My question today is, is debt a money making thing? Is debt holding up the economy of Jamaica? Is debt the way to go and has become the way of life for most people? Today we want to just take a look at how people profit and who's profiting from someone's demise. Now ladies and gentlemen, our customers far change in Jamaica. I remember back in the days when you lose a loved one, you mourn and you mourn and people come over and sing songs and sing sanky and you eat some fritters and some chocolate tea and you console the person and you go home. When the grave is being dug, yes, you might have a few people with a couple of quarts of white rum and they dig the grave and that's about it. But ladies and gentlemen, let's walk down and see how much money is being made when someone passed away in Jamaica. Now look at it, we have a report that someone is dead. The funeral home is the first one to come and pick up the body. After the funeral home pick up the body, expense number one, the family members will get together and they will choose a casket, expense number two. And ladies and gentlemen, when they're choosing a casket, even the poorest of family wants an expensive casket. An expensive casket can range from 250000 800000 to a million dollars. Expense number three, when you have in the nine night, and nine night is not what it used to be, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, if you can afford it, you'll employ a doppy band. A band consists of five players and it costs you anywhere between twenty and twenty-five thousand dollars. That's not to close there. Let look at how much people's going to benefit from that nine night. As early as six o'clock in the evening you'll see droves of cars. And when you say droves of cars, we're talking about plenty of cars coming in. We call them bar cars because there's a sound system attached to it and there's a ready-made bar that can be set up in no time. In West Milan and other places, the practice is like, it's going out of style. I've been to a nine night and let me tell you, it was like a festival. I counted 20 cars five different major sound systems and people was just drinking and partying and 90% of the people that are there partying and drinking is not from the community. So people are benefiting from the nine night. Let's go now to the grave digging. Ladies and gentlemen, when you go to a grave digging, you'll see a sound system set up in the cemetery and you'll see yet another line of cars again bar cars set up people selling white rum people selling cigarettes or beer food anything that you want and that grave digging has now become an event so everybody benefits again now look at the setup the setup ladies and gentlemen it goes out of style i'm telling you you think the grave digging was anything wait till that final night before your loved one goes down another barrage of people coming from all over the island because it seems that most of these bars set up, they just scan the newspaper 
they look for someone who passed away and then I don't know how they keep in touch with which day is the grave digging, which day is the line night, which day is the setup. But they are par and they're making crazy money. Not to mention the day that the funeral is being kept. The church makes money because the pastor makes sure that the donation plate or the connection plate goes around. Now ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says when someone passed away, you should rejoice. Points are taken. And also the Bible says when someone is born, that is when you should cry. But we understand that it builds the economy and we understand that a lot of people are making money from when someone passed away. But we have seen a trend, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I almost forgot. The dressmaker, the stores who sell shoes and pretty dresses and fandangles. From the grave digging to the setup to the nine night. They make crazy money because people are going out there and make sure they buy all these fancy clothes to wear to these events and they don't repeat which means they will not wear the same thing today, tonight or tonight, next Sunday. The funeral clothes has to be different from the setup clothes. The setup clothes has to be different from the nine night clothes. The nine night clothes has to be different from the uh, grave digging so with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's get back to reality now. We have become very insensitive to death in Jamaica. It is like most people crave, or actually pray for someone to pass away so they can wear their pretty fandangles. Let's get back to sanity. Let's get back to grieving when we lose a loved one. Let's get back to being sensitive. Let's get back to paying the family member's mind. Offer your condolences. And if we get back to that, then we get back to appreciating life. We have become cold and sensitive. Sometimes rude to someone who passed away. So Jamaicans, I'm begging you. Get back to loving each other. Get back to appreciating a friend in life. In life, because when you're gone, no matter how much you tell that individual that you love them and you care for them, you want them, oh, I wish you were there. You know, let's get back to that. I want to see when you go into some communities, ladies and gentlemen, they pay a lot of money to put a loved one's painting on the wall. They're trying to cut that out because they're saying that we're going to find some young loved one who are gangsters that are supposed to be gangsters on the wall but when you do that ladies and gentlemen you can't hug that wall you can't kiss that wall as far as i'm concerned sometimes it hurts because it is a constant reminder that a loved one has been gone and sometimes tragically and that mirror on the wall sometimes force you to want to take revenge so keep that love one in your heart and your thoughts and your mind pray for the family Pray for each other, love each other, and make some of them people that will keep them funeral thing dead funeral. Because if it was up to me, there would be no mob, there would be no funeral home. People should just live on and on and on. Let me hear your take on this. Go down into the comment box, leave your comments, and if you feel like subscribing, subscribe it's all up to you i never beg for subscription i think if my video is that good and you appreciate my video then you want more and then you subscribe so like subscribe and watch more big stuff videos. i love you and i don't want to meet you watch yourself Fire judgment, it not got pretty, no Me want all my people to be real Stay positive and don't get scared I listen, I see I will soon appear